just so much fun and he was well respected and he loved just being a firefighter. He, he was born for the job. My husband, Andy Valenta, passed away last year, April 25th, 2021, from occupational cancer. He was a firefighter paramedic for the city of Vista in San Diego County for 11 years, and he was only 33 when he passed away. Newly etched into a wall of names is Andy Valenta. This was my husband's wedding ring. Um, I just I keep it close to my heart. Our marriage was... Our marriage was a once in a lifetime type of thing. His wife, Kaylee, traveled with members of the Vista Fire Department to Sacramento to honor Andy and to grieve with other families whose loved ones, firefighters, lost their lives serving in that role. These 82 families lost a loved one in the last three years and part of uh, the process is that we recognize the fallen and we reaffirm with those families that they won't be forgotten. Among those honored, one of Stockton's own. Max Fortuna Stockton. And in the crowd of more than 1,000 people, badges from across the state and families linked together in shared experience. Their names now sharing space on the memorial wall in Sacramento's Capitol Park. It's incredibly special that he's here forever, but you know, it's not a place I want him to be. I'd rather he be home with us. <laughs> In honor of her husband, Kaylee started a foundation to bring skin cancer checks to fire stations, a way to pay tribute to him and to try to move forward for her and their girls. Grateful to have a place to come to as they do. It's a very sacred, special place. In Sacramento, Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News. And Kaylee Valenta says the newly formed Andy Valenta Melanoma Foundation is looking for volunteer dermatologists. She hopes to start bringing skin cancer screenings to fire stations in Southern California first and then expand out throughout the rest of the state. Sacramento.